Yeah, it's fantastic. Look, anytime that you can take bowling out of its uh, traditional environment, it always is eye-catching. You know, seeing lanes in the sun, in the desert, it's really, really cool. I know you said traditional environment there, but obviously for a lot of people, bowling is like a form of entertainment, but this is slightly more niche, it's a competitive environment. But what would you say is a traditional setup than normally? Yeah, well, you know, normally you're inside a building to start with, where you have a roof above your head. But here you have to deal with the elements. You've got the wind, you've got sand coming in, you've got humidity, uh, and obviously when the sun is out and it's beating down on the lane, all of these things have an effect on how the bowling ball will roll down the lane. So the professional athletes are not just dealing with knocking over 10 pins, they're also really dealing with a change of environment. Okay, do you think it should stay being outdoors? I think we should definitely have something outdoors. I think incorporating different environments is also part of the charm of bowling. It's, you know, not being a one venue sport, being able to take it outside is really important for our game. So I'm two thumbs up for trying anything different and this is obviously something cool, new and it's uh, exciting for people to come and see bowling in an unusual setting. Yeah, well you say it's cool and new, how do you feel about the atmosphere and having music, a DJ and everything here as well? Yeah, I think that's probably the, the best part about these type of events is it's not just about watching bowling, it's about experiencing an event. And, you know, in any other major sporting event that I go to, there is crowd involvement, there's music, there's fireworks, there's all sorts of stuff going on. And I think that's what makes those events such a joy to be at live. So incorporating some of that into bowling, I think is not just important, I think it's critical to make sure that when fans come here, they watch the bowling, but they go home telling about stories outside of just the strikes and spares that they saw. Okay, is something like this uh, a situation you feel that would attract more fans then? Absolutely. I mean, I'm just noticing people walking past now, hearing the music, seeing all the fans getting excited. We're luring people into this place, and I think that's part of the charm of a live event is before you walk into it, you hear it from the outside. You hear the crowd getting warmed up, you hear the music, and it gets you excited to walk in through the door. So yeah, like I said, I'm very excited to be here. I can't wait to watch the bowling. And now that the sun has gone down here in Dubai, it's a little cooler, I'm gonna really enjoy myself. You got a long sleeve shirt on as well. I know, I was crazy. <laughs> I, I thought I was gonna protect myself from the sun. Little did I know I was gonna <laughs> melt before I got burnt. And obviously Jason, as well, you're not competing this time round. How does it feel to be a spectator and not competing in it? Yeah, if I'm really honest about being a spectator, I hate it because I want to bowl so bad. I am more jealous of these guys right now than, than any other bowler in the world. But I think that's part of that competitive nature of me. But when I sit down and watch it, I love this game. I love watching it. I love being a part of it. So I'm going to really enjoy tonight's competition. And, you know, because Australia didn't send a team here, I don't have a, a horse in the race. I get to just enjoy it for what it is and, uh, yeah, go for everyone. Yeah. Would you usually be nervous if you were competing in it compared to obviously not be competing in it this time round and, you, you know, you've got a different kind of sense and feeling this time round? Would you usually be nervous? Oh, yeah. The anxiety creeps up the closer you get to, you know, the, the first roll of the ball. So, um, been in similar situations many times. I can probably safely say that the players right now are really comfortable. It's the warm-up, they're just practicing, getting their footing right, seeing the way their ball is rolling. But then once that practice session stops and we start doing all the intros and then they start getting into the actual competition, that first ball is the hardest to throw. Yeah, your knees are wobbly, you don't want to, you know, you don't want to throw it in the gutter to start with. You don't want to throw a split, you want to get off to a good start. It's that pressure moment and then it's like a pressure valve. It just releases and you can just enjoy the rest of the game. Okay. And we spoke about um, fans, getting more fans into the game and the sport, but how would it attract more people to participate at a competitive level as well at an event like this? Yeah, I think any time that you see something that entertains you, you get drawn towards it more. And for us, there's no question that when you go bowling, if anyone goes bowling, they generally have a great time doing it, but we need to catch them. We need to get their eyes on us. And having these outdoor events, these Super World Championship events, streaming on television, if we can get in front of more eyeballs and it just indicates to them that, hey, this is something that I can do. I'm, I'm gonna go and try this. Or it hasn't been, it's been so long since I've done this. I wanna do it again. We just got to get them through the doors and when we do, I know for a fact that they're going to have a great time and then that's how the champions of the game get born is they walk in, they do it, they love it and then they can't get enough of it.
that what happened to you? That's exactly what happened to me. <laughs> yeah. Oh. I just once I put a ball in my hand, you you have to peel me off the ball. You know, I was in love with it from from day one. I feel the same. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah, Thank no you. worries Perfect. at all. Thank you.